I dream of Gucci and Louis Vuitton Eating tons of food and golfing for fun Expensive shades to block out the sun Glittery nails, long ponytails Can't worry about sales, I got it I'm poor, I'ma change his life I'ma change his life I'ma change his life I'ma change his life Might become his wife Might become his wife, yeah I'm a whole wife I'm a whole wife project itself it definitely did way more than we ever would have expected um, we have like what 2200 subscribers on YouTube um, but overall it was a learning experience I feel like we can definitely make some changes and polish ourselves up but I think still we we did a really good job I think nobody in the city has ever done anything like this reality especially so I have to thank like everybody that was a part of this project everybody <laughs> Color Art Gallery. Yes. Absolutely. I feel like um, as a woman, I've matured, you know, learning things from other women in different marriages and things like that. Um, a lot of the times we think that we know it all, but we don't. A lot of times we uh, don't forgive. We don't, you know, grow up. We be childish and do childish things. But I think that this has made me feel like I got a sisterhood. Some people make mistakes, and we could just move on in life. Yeah. Okay. So you've been thinking about what this season, but you know that Miss Wet, um, Tanisha, actually, this was her idea to go ahead and start um, a club alongside her husband. Mm -hmm. But what kind of gave you this drive to want to start a wife's club? Because that's what originally it started off to be. It was initially a club. I was talking to my husband about it, and, and if anybody knows him, they know that his mind just does not rest. So he's like, maybe we can do a podcast, and you know, y'all get together, and we just talk about you know, wives' the issues and wives' things. And then here he come, like, well, maybe we can do like a reality type thing. I'm like, 
But anyhow, uh, what, what started it for me is just, I was at a place in my life, I was getting older, and I felt like I needed um, to be around. I needed to step outside of my comfort zone, which is my family and my close friends, and be around other married women and just see how they handle life. You know, we all know life is a roller coaster, it's ups and downs, and I, like Kelly just said, I feel like maybe I knew that my way wasn't always the right way, and I just wanted to be around other women. Um, my children were older, as y'all know, we got uh, 22, two, and two kids in their 20s, and then we put our, my youngest off to college, and then our youngest is gonna be a junior this year, so we're almost empty nesters. So, you know, I needed to kind of be around some other women um, outside of my comfort zone, and you know. And we actually got the experience that um, your daughter, you know, you all are very close, going off to college. It was a touchy moment for you, Absolutely. your husband, the family. <laughs> I mean, we could get that clip on the screen showing Tanisha oh, and your daughter going away. Where is she at school? She goes to Southern University in uh, Baton Rouge, Louisiana. And this is when she first left. She's actually about to enter to a sophomore year. Sophomore year. We leave actually to take her Wednesday. Oh, oh okay. So, yeah. <laughs> So this is a very um, emotional clip. Uh, they didn't hold back. <laughs> we couldn't hold back. Yeah, that's her baby. Oh, I'm a whole wife. Yeah. So what's that like? Let one of your babies fly. It was hard because we like this. So it was hard. It feels, you know, I feel good. It's, I'm just, I mess up. You know. The class of 2020 is, is not only a spirited class, but also a distinguished one at that. Congratulations. <laughs> Still adjusting. Mm -hmm. I'm still adjusting. She came home for the summer, and uh, it, 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 I blinked, and it's like time to take her back. You know what I mean? So it's like um, I'm still adjusting. Um, I don't know. I'm maybe this year will be different, but um, I, I know I don't talk to all of the wives like a lot. But you know, we try to stay connected. Uh, definitely, me and Chastity and me and Rihanna. But uh, they know I'll write a whole paragraph in a minute, like. I just, you know, it's just different. You know what I mean? You used to having, uh, you go from four kids to to none. We empty nester, so it's it's different. But um, but that's where you have to trust yourself and know that you did the right job in raising them. Absolutely. All right, let's switch gears just a little bit. Um, being that you you know brought these women together and started this club, you know. We, this was our first season, and we experienced a lot together. Even me as the host, I'm like, Laura, this is a lot. <laughs> this is a lot in, you know, sh different days of shooting and trying to get everybody together. How do you all feel that you held yourself accountable? Or even with you, Tanisha, holding the other ladies accountable? I feel like I definitely held myself accountable. I tried to hold a lot of the ladies accountable. They can <laughs> tell you themselves. I'll contact them myself individually. <laughs> Try, cause you know, with this whole project, we really wanted it to be something. And not only just to the world, but for ourselves. And that was the initial, you know, thing that we wanted. So I really wanted to make sure that everybody followed suit during that whole entire process. And with that being accountable, you know, 
know, the bills don't pay themselves. So the women, the women are responsible for dues and um, bring up. <laughs> <laughs> Tell us a little bit about your struggle and collecting those. And that dues. struggle was mad real. <laughs> <laughs> like it was cool. Like everybody was pretty much consistent in the beginning, but it was just like, you know, it was laid out there first of the month. I give y'all the first week, fifty dollars. I'm not gonna keep chasing y'all down. I'm not gonna keep texting and all of that stuff. But I mean, we we managed to get all the funds in when needed. <laughs> and who, who, who was, I wouldn't say the words, but who, you know, had, had the trouble. Not saying trouble, because these women <laughs> that are That right okay. there. <laughs> don't, who was I was going to say, don't no. call me out, because I'm behind you. I was wishing it wasn't you. I was wishing. Okay, you was wishing it was me. I was wishing it wasn't you. Okay, what do you think? I got so much going on, I barely even look. That might write in the group, I'll be like, okay, I'm, my mind, I'm like, okay, I'm getting back to it. <laughs> We go back like, hey y'all, my bad. Yeah, I'm just like, okay, I'm my bad. So yes. the tactics, you had to just keep I just I mean, like, yeah, it was just like, I gotta keep it moving, y'all. <laughs> yes. Next month, like, yeah, just that. but it'll yeah. be like, but how to catch up and be like, all right, sis, so $150 is due. Like, you, come on, let's go. <laughs> but me too, <laughs> like, I, I, she would hit me point. too. Like, do what? Like exactly, I didn't go, uh uh-uh. uh, I'm not a telecommunicator. I don't use auto pay. I don't use auto pay. Will you pay on time? Okay. I don't. You gotta Not all the time. You're trustworthy in your bills. But it that's was, why she I'm was a fun day job because I don't even pay on time. Like, but it, it, it was like I was lenient with it. If y'all communicated, that was my big thing. Mm-hmm. Just communicate. Was, like, you, was you lenient? Because we got a clip of you about it. <laughs> 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 <It's> like, <laughs> I just had to let them know what it was. was I was a little lenient. About the 15th. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Let's start out um, how we do with our funds. How we looking. So, ladies. Okay. I'm a little bit disappointed, but okay. <laughs> My role in the Wives Club, I'm the treasurer. I've been collecting these funds and dues from the other ladies and wives and Trying to keep them in order. Oh, I'm a whole wife, yeah. The keys, we didn't see you at that meeting. Mm-hmm. I was there, but I can't, you know, play. <laughs> I was not there yet. I wasn't there, was I? Mm-hmm. No, no, no. Me? Yet. I no, it was Paula. It was Paula. It was yeah. Paula. Oh, I didn't come to this one at all, did I? Me, Paula, Rihanna, Tanisha. Oh, well, speaking of Paula. Speaking of Paula, okay. Shout out to Paula. Shout out to Paula. Shout out to Paula, but let's address the elephant in the room. Let's. Because we talk about accountability. We talk about accountability. (laughs) She got me beat on that, y'all, so. Right, right. 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 But like, we talk about accountability being a thing about what you all are supposed to be doing, holding each other accountable. Mm -hmm. We don't see one of the wives here, like. What's going on with Paula? Where is she? She Why just is she had a lot here? going on. That's she actually, mean. she actually, um, she decided to leave the club. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, she's yeah. Yeah. You heard it here? Look at Durant. It wasn't to say here. this on a positive note, just to make it all positive. All of us are strong in different forms of our life. Um, you know, losing people, having devs. I know Rihanna had devs. I had devs during the show. But some people... Uh, deal with it differently. Deal with it different, it differently. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they grieve differently. Mm-hmm. And then on the side of that, a lot of people's families, and whether it's your husband, your mother, your auntie, whoever, mm-hmm. didn't agree with us even doing the show because mm-hmm. they felt like they already judged us before we, oh, yeah. prior to us even releasing anything, mm-hmm. they had already said, yeah. oh, Kelly's known for fighting. She's going to be fighting. Tanisha's known for having parties and doing whatever. <laughs> uh, she's going to be doing that. We already know what it is. So people already prejudged us mm-hmm. and didn't give it a chance. So people's families and stuff did, just didn't agree. But she also, I mean, she communicated with me, of course, because mm-hmm. when I brought her on, she might have known some of the ladies, but didn't know them on a personal level. She was my yeah. friend. And so, of course, she communicated really with me. We would have seen her as much as we would have liked right. to see her on the season. So, right. it kind of, I guess, it makes yeah. sense why yeah. she... Yeah, because, I mean, I just heard somebody in the audience say, who's Paula? Right. Right. Well, she definitely... <laughs> I mean, surprisingly, y'all, she did. Um, she she talked to me about a lot. Some things she chose not to, but she communicated with me. But she, she addressed the ladies as a whole, yeah. let them know she wanted to leave the group. But... Um, from literally from beginning to end, it seems like it was just one thing after another. But she, when she, she showed up, she contributed. Yeah. She, she had did. such a good time, a great vibe, and she always had wonderful ideas. Yeah. 
it was just unfortunate that she couldn't commit herself to yeah. filming and stuff. Okay. Well, we, we miss Chicago. We definitely we do. We definitely do. That is so sweet of you all to, <laughs> to, to be cordial. I like that about you all. We're not going to go any further. Thank Shane, you, quit trying to pull that out of the <laughs> No, no. I was I'm not. You're trying to get us to flip the table. I would like to know as far as um, for the viewers' sake, mm -hmm. when did she make her resignation? Today. Um, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> I, mean, I actually it's it's about, she it's gave us a thirty day notice. Yeah. 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 She and I actually reached out and I asked her if she wanted to do the reunion outside of the club just because she was a part of this first season and she's just still not really at a place where she wanted yeah. to. You know. I mean, she, I can't speak for all of the things that she was right. going through, but I do know she lost her sister in law, which was which really close to her. Devastating. So that kind of so. was like the cherry on the on top. So mm -hmm. she's just kind of struggling, just you know. Maybe the okay. straw that broke the camel's back. And for those who don't know, we do have a club um, involving Paula. <laughs> I'm just going to be honest. During that time, I was going through an abortion. Not an abortion uh, that I had, that I chose to, but it was medically, my body could not handle it. And it's funny to see myself how. I carried myself during that time, but I was actually going through a miscarriage during that time. I think what the clips were trying to express with some of the things she did discuss, she didn't mention that she had the tragedy of a miscarriage uh, when the season started, um, and that she did have some things she was working through. Um, but the thing that we never really got clarity on was her. Um, attention to the wives and like and what this group was for her. She kind of just became a little bit, for lack of a better word, just absent. She didn't show up to certain things. So outside of what she told us in that confessional about what she was dealing with personally, we didn't really get much after that. So. Well, mind you, we didn't find that out until the show actually aired. Yeah, right. yeah. Yeah. So when me and her met on that scene, we were supposed to discuss you know, something that we both went through. I went through that early 2020, and she happened to go through it throughout that, that year too, so we, we don't want to talk about it. You know, it's, it's, a, it's something that, you know, some women can relate to and talk about, and I felt like there was a moment that we could share with one another and kind of, you know, open up to each other and kind of pull out what we were trying to get out of Paula, but I didn't know that, so we, when we went on that um, outing that day to the park, we were supposed to discuss it, but I didn't know any of that was going on with her the show, until the show actually aired and then I seen it and I felt even worse because I was pissed for real. I'm like, girl, we talked about, we was gonna, we, we said we was going to talk about this and, you know, really get, you know, that, you know, sisterhood, that vibe, you know what I mean? Just having that real conversation. So can I ask you this? So outside of the show, because you said you talked to her, did you all have a conversation off camera that was, I guess, more personal or was she still more the same? With myself, very vividly, because I've reached out and I could tell something was kind of going on. So I just want to reach out, hey, how you doing? Just checking on you, making sure you're doing okay. And she let me know that she was going through something, but I didn't know that it was, I guess, that bad. I don't, I, I don't know. So let's dive in a little bit, a little more into that, because like, like the lady said, they did not know. Um, a lot of us actually did not know until it was earned. So before that, there was some previous, um, I don't use the term drama, but just miscommunication. Mm -hmm. um, with her absence, because she was going through that, and you can only imagine what she was going through, and you might not want to be around people, um, but it was um, around Halloween time where the ladies were going to get together. <laughs> ladies were going to get together and do a trunk or treat. Um, I believe Brianna and Chastity got together, and um, <laughs> It was in a group message. Tanisha had already been clear, my kids is gone, y'all do that. There's really no need for me to be there. Keys and Let me say this, because that sounds really bad. I was going to Your kids is grown. They are gone. Right. But I was going to be a part of it. I was gonna give candy, I was gonna show up. But you know, if y'all wanna do that, just let me know and I'll help y'all with it. But if y'all can plan it, you know what I mean? I don't want it to sound like y'all don't want to do that. And I want you all here, we don't know what was y'all reasons for y'all absence. With the trunk or treat, 
keys and help. Well, I host on the weekends, oh, so and it, it it just so happened to be that. But me and keys at this time, we were still working at the same place. Okay. And I wasn't hosting then. I thought I was gonna host, but I ended up having to work, and we ended up working on the same day. Okay. So that's why we were we couldn't be friends. So it ended up being Rayana and Chastity. Mm -hmm. um, and then. If I'm correct, there was a group thread about it, and then Chastity, you kind of had an issue with Paula because another party was playing out there with this I wouldn't say an issue. It was just more so of a concern because we were initially discussing that we were going to do something as a group, as a collective, and I happened to see that on her Instagram, <laughs> she's posting. Hey guys, we're having a party for my daughter on the same day that we're having our trunk or treat. So I'm like, well, hey sis, why don't you tell us about that? Like, mm -hmm. what's going on? She's like, oh, I forgot. Okay, noted. I don't want to come, <laughs> but that's fine. But okay, you know. But, but as we saw on the season, I mean, it wasn't it, well. Not to be shady, but to be true. To be shady. <laughs> there was no real plan to the party that she had. I mean, if we're being technical, I mean, if I we're being yeah, it kind true. of felt like that she, well, she just kind of, I mean, it felt like it's part of the disconnect. Well, we discussed this as a group, as a collective, but she didn't respond huh. to any of those messages. I think that's when she left the group. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's go ahead and play the clip and let her eyes As I'm scrolling through my Instagram story, I see my sister Paula post a birthday invite, well, invitation to her daughter's trunk or treat. A bag, a bag, a bag, some hand towels, a hat. Come on. <laughs> Hold on, sis. Like, we was just talking about us doing a trunk or treat together for our kids and giving back to the community and you got your own thing going on. So I write her. I'm like, hey girl, I didn't know you had anything going on. Why don't you tell us about it? You could have, you know, we could have did our thing with you and put it all together. She was like, oh, you guys are invited, whatever, whatever. And then not even five minutes later, we get an invite to her daughter's birthday trunk or treat in our, new, in our uh, group text. So I'm like, I think I'm gonna go ahead and stick with Coles because, you know, as I said, they've been holding my husband down for, for years. He's been their photographer for their Saturday events or any other event that they have. But this was after I said something about it. So that didn't seem like an invite to me. So personally, I wasn't that interested in going. So um, I think she went ahead and put her plans and continued. And I continued and took my kids to Cole's place, because honestly, they've been supportive of my husband for years. So I'm gonna go and support them before I go support somebody giving me a back end invitation. Oh, I'm a whole wife, yeah. Uh, what is a back end invitation? <laughs> what is a back end invitation? <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's like somebody do it after you call after them. After I say something, then, oh yeah, let me send you an invite. No, sis, so you should've thought about me when you first sent out the invitation. You don't like being an afterthought either. No, it's not. <laughs> and just so right. I know, I mean, the situation has cleared itself. Oh, yeah, we're definitely okay, yeah. but at that moment in time, I was like, girl, I ain't coming. And then, <laughs> out of all the wives, like, Chastity was the one to address her. So, was it a, a group thing? Like, I'm going to let you, you know what I'm saying? You better talk to her for her feelings. Or was it like, you just came on your own? Like, I did it on my own. She did, did it on her own, and then she said and something. And then I sent it to everybody. <laughs> So nobody else is really just worried about it. Like, y'all had a word. I hadn't seen it. I hadn't even seen it. And Chastity said, uh, Paula's having something for her daughter. And I asked her why she didn't tell us why we was. She hadn't already. No, she seen it and she said something right then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even playing. And so we know sometimes with groups and with females or just with the collective in general, sometimes there can be a lot of miscommunication on a part. Um, during the season, Kelly, there was some miscommunication. I'm not saying on your part, but yeah. the one part where we, well, let's just be real, you kind of had an issue with the production team. Like yeah. things wasn't going on. So can you talk a little bit about that? Um, I felt like um, my needs weren't met. I felt like um, I'm not just a wife. I'm, I'm a mother. Uh, I have a daughter that has a partial scholarship. Uh, my son was at the time was in football. 
Uh, my other daughter does lashes and she does braids. Uh, film that. Film me being a radio personality on my show. Film me being a bar center. Film me being, having bar classes and being an instructor. Film me, you know, hosting. I do so much more than just being a wife, and I feel like everybody else got their time to say what they were and what they did, but my time never came. And that was cool with me because sometimes God's timing is, isn't that time for you. At the same time, if we're filming a show and nothing's being said, like, people didn't even know where I lived at. It was well, a time to, when someone asked. I just, I don't mean to interrupt, but I didn't, I mean, I get that because we talked about that, mm -hmm. but that was after the inis, initial issue. I right. thought the issue initially was on one of the episodes. Mm -hmm. So, because we all agreed to that. We all agreed that following production's um, guidance, so to speak, with the storyline and what we were filming, mm -hmm. because I, I tell y'all, it was a time when people didn't know that me and Wade had a blended family. Right. So, I had to come back and make sure that that, like, twice I had to say that. So it was definitely like, you know, a time when people didn't even, you know, well, like I just said, but, but that was after we talked about, I thought there was an initial issue. Yeah, I wanted at least some, some of my story to be told, like my child's father being killed, something, my husband being incarcerated, me going to visit every weekend, I'm going down there, set, we're, we're talking about three and a half hours away, I'm going to Manchester mm -hmm. Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and still going to all three of my jobs, and still you know, continuing to do the schooling. And people see me, I upload every day of my kids schooling. So people see them dressed up and they're like, do you dress them like that every day? And I'm like, yeah, but not, we do stuff every weekend. Even after I leave there, I'm doing stuff with them. Then I'm going to work, then I'm going to job them too. And it's just on, I just felt like it wasn't recorded. And I felt like nobody knew, like it's people that come up to me like, hey girl, you a stay at home mom, you a wife? I'm like, yeah, I'm a wife, but I'm not nowhere near a stay at home. I do a lot of shit. Like, follow me on Instagram. I mean, well, but Kelly, we also had a chance to kind of get to know you. We had an episode where we saw your radio show. Mm -hmm. We saw you have a chance to kind of, you know, talk about what you do. In that space where that was, I guess, the focal point, you know, that was the, the chance. Why not, a, you know, put it all out there then? Like, let that be what people get a chance to see. We heard about you being the red ambassador. We heard about you. I forgot about having that. Your, uh, <laughs> we're talking about you things so you do. I mean, I mean, right. It's like, I mean, so why not use that opportunity, you know, when we had that, you know, to, to, to address all those things that you said weren't given to you? Why not take that chance to do it? Because on my radio station, I mean, on my radio show, it was about all of us. It wasn't necessarily about me. Like, Rihanna, you got to see um, a few things about her. Uh, I'm just saying, like, every wife, you got to see something. But nobody knew nothing that Kelly did if they didn't already follow me on social media. It's so many people that had so many questions about me. Like, nobody followed me or even took any footage from me going down to see my husband. Just so many things that I felt like could have been spoke on. Although, we, we have a season two coming up. Mm -hmm. And we did talk about it. Like, we did reach out, and I will say, um, let me defend Wet in this. Um, it was so many times when he did reach out, but on the days that he reached out, it was like, damn, I ain't even working today. I ain't got nothing going on today. But there was days that I did, but he, I, I, when I say wet, wrote paragraphs, he wrote paragraphs. He reached out. He always, and I always got messages from Chaz. I always got messages from Tanique. I always did. So it wasn't necessarily them, but it was just like we were just not communicating on both parts. And some of the things that I, I mean, I remember or recall about your specific concerns uh, during production was how you were, uh, how you were presented. Yeah, I didn't know that I was gonna. Um, I talked to, um, I talked to two, pro three production, and I didn't know that like they were like we're not gonna uh, put those things out because you, I know because I was like no nah, hell no nah. like. I want primarily, to make sure. Primarily was the first episode. Yeah, the, first, the episode. first episode. I didn't like my interviews at all. I, mean, I didn't at like the same time, what I, I guess what I'm trying to understand is like in, in every in every space, every everybody that was there that day, mm -hmm. they all got to see you all just for you know who you were. I mean, mm -hmm. it wasn't like I don't think anybody. Was no, I was the only one that did my interview on my day. Well, you you definitely gave an interview. I mean, we had spots on this, mm -hmm. but I mean, I guess I want to know like what you said or what you did. How did that not represent you? you I, did, I didn't feel like that um, my hair was done, my makeup was done. Like, I didn't have any of that done. I'm thinking that we're coming, first off, in our meet, in our uh, original messages, it said that it was going to be, one, a meeting, but nobody ended up really showing up. Tanisha, we were at her house. Well, Mrs. Wet, I don't know. Uh, we were at her house, so she was, of course, going to be there. But then uh, Trey had came, and he said that, you know, Mrs. his wife had some things going on, Mrs. P., 
And then Key Shia came like four hours later. I couldn't no longer stay. <laughs> Seriously. Kia came like four hours later. So it was like, I ain't staying to figure out what's going on. So they were like, come on, let's film. And I'm like, cool. I went down in the basement. I talked to the production. They're like, we're not going to put you on there looking like it. Everybody know I like to get my hair and my makeup done. Pop on my little press ons, <laughs> slip on my little heels, and I'm good to go. But this time I'm in work attire. I'm got on a turtleneck, a, a jacket. My hair is like curled all type of crazy from where I done brushed it back. Just all type of stuff. But like I said, it was a learning experience. I know from now on, show up ready with your hair ready at all <laughs> times. So you you never before, know. You didn't, you didn't know that your hair was. I didn't know that I was gonna be even. You know, they said that we weren't gonna put that part out there. Mm -hmm. They were gonna use a voiceover. Is what I was basically mm -hmm. told. Like, we weren't going to do all of that. Well, let me just say, too, in, in just the defense of reality TV in general, um, if you was told that, I bet. But, <laughs> I went in yeah, in the basement but, and talked to him. Yeah, but mm -hmm. the thing about it is, too, a lot of times when we get you all together and y'all know y'all on camera, what do y'all do? No, most of the time that we get together, it's usually, like, partying. Um, we usually don't got our kids, and it's usually that. But then, in but my defense, I always show up ready, cute. I'm not gonna show up. I'm not ready. I'm not cute. Is that whenever the ladies get together, I mean, that's never really a time where. Nope. I and that was the time when I said I didn't want to wear makeup. Tanisha, speak up. Okay. Are we talking about the confessionals? No, we're talking about the confessionals on that. But okay, I'm because the day of the confessionals, we had a signed day. So that day you came. That day, what you had on, we knew that that no, time. No, I thought was it was gonna be a meeting because y'all said that you wanted. You originally told me and my and me and your messages that we were gonna talk about, you know, people being late, not apologizing, people not speaking up. No, people that not, day was a sign for I didn't know that, I yeah. didn't know that. I literally came from work, I came from Indiana and came from work and had on what I had on. Like I didn't dress up, I didn't, if you see me, I didn't have on that, but then when I realized what was going on, I'm like, hold on, give me this, give me that, and I'm just like, nah, I'm not comfortable with it. After I talked and said that I wasn't I'm like, confused you know, now. I, 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 yeah, I, I, you I feel like Kelly. I look cute. You I'm feel, like, that's Kelly. Uh -uh, Kelly you feel Kelly. like I look cute, but I didn't feel like I look cute. But I, I remember complimenting you and asking you were you ready and everything for the confessionals because, like I said, we had assigned days and assigned times for everybody to do their No, I did not know that we were going to do the full effect because, like I said, I talked to, you know, a couple, three people from the production and they told me, oh, well, we're not going to put you out there. We're going to let you see it first. I never seen it. It went out. I never seen it. Well, let me just say I don't know why they I don't, I don't know why they told you that because in reality most time to keep the reality of it we don't want the cast members taking an edit. Yeah, I mean, true. I yeah. didn't I didn't realize so, I never did reality. Yeah. So let's go ahead and play the clip where Kelly really dives in deep at the Wise Club meeting about her concerns with the production team. Well, I'm glad that you said that. I'm glad you said that because I really wanted to know what was going on because after Gatlinburg, I'm like. What the fuck? Like, we like, what the fuck? Well, I talked to you in Gatlin Heard, and I told you I didn't like the first episode, and which I was cool. But then I, I didn't, didn't know it got to that magnitude. Dude. Yeah, I talked to you and, uh, yeah, I remember Monet. that. But I didn't know it got bigger yeah, that, than that. That's I, what I, I, I thought didn't it was like. just, you know, because. No, it got there, but then I felt like, um, one of our producers, and um, which is not me, but okay. one of our producers, I felt like, was defensive about the whole situation. And I know. I didn't want to, I didn't feel comfortable addressing a man, addressing a man. I've already did that with a man before and my husband's in jail. Mm -hmm. My husband has been put in jail because of me telling him about me having to address a man. And I don't want that for my husband mm -hmm. no more. And I really, I ain't just thinking for just me. I'm thinking for me and three kids and a husband, mm -hmm. a husband that is dangerous, you know, to people on the outside mm -hmm. on the street. Right. And I don't want us to feel like we got to be aggressive to people that we we so-called love and we're working with. Mm -hmm. At the same time, why are you on the defense? If I if I address you about something that me and you talked about, why are you defensive? Why are you having an issue? Why do you feel some type of way because I'm coming to you? So I didn't feel comfortable no more. Mm -hmm. I felt like, let me just leave this group because... Really, he's doing too much. Well, next time, don't leave the group. Talk to your sisters. Right, and I asked you several times, and I even said, do you want to talk to him in a private setting? Where's just me and you? Yeah, I didn't want to at the time because okay. I was seeing red. And you know, you're a Pisces. Mm -hmm. When you're seeing red, you're seeing red. Mm -hmm. I know that y'all are all cool, and I know I was once cool, too, at this point, mm -hmm. at this time. I felt like I was cool, too, but at the same time, why am I addressing a man? Why did he feel, I mean, and then, like, I last meet him before this. He still got on defense where he felt like he had to defend a few people. And why do you got to be defensive Who's for this me? man? Because we could probably relate. I mean, I, I mean. And, I, and the most important thing is you 
me and Wet bring you in this group, and I've known you since you was a kid. Right. So fuck having to deal with the man. Right. I'm gonna fuck the wives group. Mm -hmm. From me to you, if it was something that made you uncomfortable, it was my responsibility yeah. or Wet's responsibility. No, you're a her. woman though, and I could have told Wet, but I, like I said, I had already talked to Wet, and I knew that Wet was already. I didn't know about his sickness, mm -hmm. but I didn't know Wet was already going through some stuff, and I was just like over it at that point. And I, me, personally, I don't know how you do as a Pisces, but I shut down. Oh, I'm a whole wife, yeah. So if you was watching the season, a part of it, Kelly kind of strayed away until this meeting. And at this meeting, the wife were kind of able to address, like, what was going on. And Kelly, um, if you watched this full episode, she made it clear, like, you know, she felt, she just, just was like, deleted herself in order to not create conflict just to get herself together. So do you feel like after this meeting, your issues with production and maybe even with the wives will resolve? I do, I do feel like that um, my issues were resolved because I was no longer on camera. So I didn't have to worry about, you know, what I was gonna look like and what was gonna be done or whatever. And then my husband came home. So I wasn't no longer worrying about having to defend myself um, against nobody. Like I said, she didn't know the, the magnitude of it, but I did have a conversation. I did go to one of the wives. And then like I just said, oh, I'm not going to go to nobody. I did go to one of the wives, and I did have a conversation with her. I guess she didn't take it as seriously as when I talked to her, because I did talk to her. Mm -hmm. I tried to, to, I talked to her. She talked to her. She said she didn't like the way she looked. I'm like, girl, you look good. Yeah, she was just And good. I just kept it moving. I no, we still talk. Was... We still talk other than me, because she was like, don't worry about it, Kelly. The next episode won't look like it will do confessionals again, is what you said. I talked to Monet and Monet was like, yeah, I was told that, you know, I was like, but that, was that, that makes you just want to leave off of just not leave they or, didn't make or just leave. eliminate yourself and not want to be on camera no more. I didn't want to be on camera. Cause if to I, was my honest, look I, thought, I thought it was okay after that little, you know, I thought, cause we did have a little conversation mm -hmm. and you said how you felt when we was, when we first watched in the basement, then we came upstairs and we yeah, talked about it a little more. Yeah, but your husband's on production, so you always going to look good. You go, he's always gonna make sure you look good. Well, that, that, that's, 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 that, hold on, time out, time out, time out, time out, because we ain't doing that. Time out, time out. And I said, time out, my husband's a, a photographer. He's not a right. Yeah, so let's let's bring it on back. Because with him or without him, I would still be fine and looking good. I'm camera. not saying that you wouldn't, but, but I'm saying let's keep it real. But Don't if anybody knows before. Trey Day, respect the shooter, he gonna make sure every Everybody. goddamn person that's on that camera that's look right. fucking yeah, good. Yeah, but you, your, your husband was saying it, and I didn't like the way I look. I told you that. And you right, said, but, but he's you said gonna, gonna make gonna, sure anybody on that camera We're not looks talking great. about just Trey Day, we're talking okay. about overall. Okay, I'm, I'm just making sure. Okay, and I'm just making sure okay. too. All right. Just, okay, but let me say this too. But I reached out, it wasn't just Chastity. Like, it bothered me our whole ride back from Gatlinburg. Everybody knows it did. I asked more than once like Kelly what's wrong and then I even got to my house I said well Kelly do you want to talk privately because maybe you didn't want to talk in public and he was like no I'm okay you left and then I text you more than once I kept trying to pull it out no, of I you, text you, back, didn't ignore you you didn't okay, but so. it still was like that specific issue is like you did tell me you didn't like how you look but it's like we kind of danced around it like we talked about everything but that specific issue you know what I mean and if I like I said uh -huh, in that I meeting around, I got the messages I ain't dancing around with you or your husband I, but during this meeting you were saying a lot of other things just like just now and had we known that specific issue I said in our, in our meeting I did I said I'm sorry but I said in our meeting um when I was on the phone when we were on the phone if y'all recall um weekend he was like okay but uh Kelly why are you getting defensive me speaking on how I feel in a situation that I felt like happened to me isn't me getting offensive. I'm telling you what I felt like happened to me. That's like if Shayna get raped today and I say oh well I was around such and such and that didn't happen to me just because I was around them don't mean that it didn't happen to you. It still happened. So why you? I'm not getting. The, I'm not getting defensive. I'm just saying how I felt at that time. At this time, I don't feel like it. At that time, I did feel that way. And I'm not faulting you for not liking how you look because Keys didn't like her confessionals. It was some chassis yeah. you didn't like. I don't remember you saying you didn't like yourself. But I hate my her on the intro. I hate it. But I know on the back end everything they go through with editing and even wet being my husband like when i said it he looked at me like okay and what like i wasn't even gonna go there because i just know like i'm not even getting ready to bother but my main issue is that when we all show up just like she said keys has her style you have yours chastity her stars, rihanna has so when y'all show up all i can say is let me make sure not a hers out of place you don't got lipstick on your teeth and that you're nice and neat i'm not gonna criticize anybody on how they showed up because mm -hmm. to me that's that's not my character. That's not nice. I wouldn't want anybody else to do it. 
Anybody that walks in any room that I'm in, that's your swag, that's your style, that's your choice. You decided that. But when, you know, it's, I don't know, I feel like if something's out of place or something, it's my duty to say, uh, Brianna, get that lipstick off your teeth. Uh, you gotta, you know what I mean? But I'm not gonna ever criticize the way somebody showed up because that's you. You represent your style. That's not, and I'm no judger. You know me, everybody knows. I, I'm, my brain's wide open to everything. I don't judge anybody. You got how you do whatever, but I'm never gonna say, uh-uh, Kelly, I don't like that. You can't do your confessionals today because that's just, you look like a hot mess. Why would I do that? So do we feel like this issue is resolved? Because I know bringing it back up sometimes pulls the band-aid off old wounds. It, do, it does seem like at the meeting, y'all was able to come to a common ground, and I don't want just us bringing it back up for you to deviate because y'all was at that place. So right, 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 right. Back up because it's two different reasons. Oh, right. 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 No, it's, it's because it's like that you're reasons. saying the way you look, but at the meeting it was more No, I said the way I look, and then I said the week. We I did touched, say that, but like, I mean, we him went back and fucked on phone. It was the producer. Yeah, right. it was all, all yeah, of the all episode, of the production. So I think that's why. I think it's and he's a part of the production. And I think majority of the conversation. Yeah, that's was what I think. That's why it's kind of going back. And yeah. So let's no, for the same thing. So let's a little bit on that same meeting, Keith. I want to talk to you because <laughs> <laughs> Keith, Keith uh, was checked out. Got gotcha. you. Keith and everything. <laughs> Even if she's four hours late, Keys gonna come to show. Okay, <laughs> and Keys popped up at this meeting with a hoodie on, wig was on, oh, on the phone. And if you know Keys, you know a lot of people. Even though she is a dancer, even though she's on social media, she is shy. A lot of people yeah. don't know that about her. She is shy. But this was not shy, Keys. This was like, <laughs> I mean, she all like, arms was folded. I, I wasn't there at the meeting. I watched episodes. I'm like, what the hell is going on with Keys? Like, what? what for, and they, they even asked you, and you was like, I don't get no problem. I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> what is going on? Uh uh. What she say? I, I, I don't tell y'all my business. I'm about to take the fight. I'm like, is that some beef? Is that beef? We didn't know about how we were going to discuss. Well, Kelly went here. That was my thing. I mean, they kept saying we're going to have a meeting. We have a meeting. I'm like, I, I really had stuff to do. I was like, literally, I had just got out the show. I was like, let me go fucking throw on this hoodie and see like, and go over here and see what the hell's going on. So when I got there and they talking, I'm just like, okay. I, can't, I rushed, literally stopped what I was doing, rushed over here real quick for this. I just felt like I was over it. I mean, we, we couldn't sit here and just worry about what the fuck she did. She left. That's just what it was. What we see her going back and forth for? That's how I feel. So I'm like, so I really just took time at Monday real quick just to come and listen to this. Okay, well, here, I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. Do we have the I could have not came because I really didn't have the time to, but I, I made myself go. So that's why. This was good. Keys, you got something to say? You know, I know. Keys. Crickets. You, know. <laughs> you don't have not one thing to say. I don't. What? What you want me to say? How you feeling? Like, do you like the club? Do you, do you like what we're doing? Do you want to be a part of it? Do you want to move forward? I'm here. Shit, I'm, I'm here. I, I come to everyone unless I'm out of town. Girl, I'm out of town all the time. <laughs> if I ain't out of town, I, what? Last three weekends I've been out of town. Yeah, been had surgery, and I'm not. I mean, if I can't make it, I'm gonna let y'all know. How do know. you? I'm gonna ask you this. How do you feel about dealing with? I mean, now that we all getting together, this is something new. We ain't been right. doing this. Exactly. So I mean, right. you know, right. I mean, I'm willing to see what it's gonna. That's what I was gonna ask. So. That's what I was gonna ask. How do you feel about stepping out of your comfort zone? I already have. Right. Well, okay. Y'all don't think so? Yeah. But I still think you got one foot in, one foot out. It's like, your sisters, like I said, that's your coming on. I have this, surprisingly, I have the same thing. I but just don't talk to y'all about my personal business. That's it. Right. You don't have to. You don't I mean, that's it. Other than that, I'm willing. I come, whatever. Right. I chop, whatever y'all want to do, I'm willing. But you definitely don't get But I mean, I just don't call y'all like... Going through this. I mean, we don't right. have that. Girl, if I see yet. you post right. something, I'll be like, Keith, well, I've done that one time, but still. Yeah. And, <laughs> and, I, and, I, and I'll be like, thanks. Like, I really yeah. don't. I mean, <laughs> but, but that's what I just said, too. Like, me and Wet, just, I keep bringing him up because we both Pisces, same day, and we both do that. I got that bad, too. I won't open up about I don't. Home. I don't open up to, I mean, to nobody. I, get I like can that. be sitting there crying. Even my sister will be blowing me up. Yeah. And I, I mean, got that. Right. the phone, and I just, I mean, that's just how I am. I'll, I'll be sitting there crying. I will shut down. And then I'll be texting Chastity. Or whoever, I, mean, I, I can be crying. Be to me and I Real want to say that to him. I just be looking at him. Yeah. And I'm just, I'm just, I just get quiet. Oh, I'm a whole yeah. She has the middle school slick <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm like, and, and she, I'm like, what is going on? It was just okay. So that was your, and I was really annoyed. Yeah, yeah, but I really okay. didn't even think that we was.
was like that whole episode was gonna be this. I'm, I even me and him chat. I'm like, I never in my life would have thought that I was gonna be on her the whole fucking episode. <laughs> That's why. I'm like, literally like I couldn't even. I was trying to pay attention to what Kelly was saying, you know, because she was she was really going in, yeah. and I just see you over here like, I'm like, what is going on? Down? I know it was she's like some different situation happened. Like she was saying what the problem. I thought was the beat was for you. I'm but like, you were like really? not saying that. Like it's gonna be a separate episode. Clearly, he's got beef with somebody. So I'm I'm just, like, I just like I never understood. Right. You like everybody here, right? Yeah. Okay. I was, I, I you was wasn't like gonna invite anybody. No. You just was okay. annoyed. I was just really didn't want to be there. But like Let when you look at it, do you see the standoff? Yeah. Just, I, I was like, <laughs> the first day I seen, I was like, why the fuck did they make the whole episode like this? And I'm over here looking like, okay, is this over yet? Yeah. <laughs> that's exactly how I was looking. Okay, but that's, that's how I felt. That makes sense. All right. Well, this concludes our first half of the Wives of Little Reunion show. Up next, we'll be back with the wives and a few other husbands. Oh, I'm a whore.